chaps, we're back on another adventure and we started at Safui and in Lozi Park. So we're about 900 kilometers away from East London. We started early this morning and uh, it's been a nice interesting trip, not a, not a bad trip. But uh, we didn't pre-book like normally and we've just uh, been told that you cannot camp inside here. We're going to go to the main gate hilltop. I need a bit of fuel first. So there's another little spot down the road. It looks extremely dodged before you get to the park. And like we said, uh, from the entrance gate to the main gate hilltop or the main camp um, there's no campsites here but the main base camp here is uh, half an hour drive they have got a restaurant a shop we'll see now what all is in the shop and a fuel spot or refueling point um, so is a 960 square kilometer reserve but before we take you guys for a drive and show you around it's time to fill the tank with some fuel and the tummies. Uh, so Slui is uh, one of the oldest reserves in South Africa. Um, I think it's the oldest reserve. The, the oldest reserve. Yeah, I think it was, um, from what I understand, it was formed in 1895. <laughs> They've got the big five here, and then they also have, they call it the magnificent eight. eight, the magnificent eight because of the additional three. Yeah, the cheetah, the wild dog, and the hyena. Yes. This is one of many picnic spots where you can actually have a bra or whatever you want to and then uh, like always when you, you will find the individuals not putting their rubbish in the bins where they should be so yeah. chaps try and leave the place better than what you found it I mean it's just it's not difficult you know, we complain about places where we can go to and then when we can go there we kind of tend to cock it up I mean wow it just takes one idiot to spoil it for everybody else so try and pull your weight and just 
do the right thing, throw the, throw the rubbish away. Good job. Reaching Nyalazi camp, daytime ran out quickly and we were keen to relax and just sit back and chill. It was a long day in the Halak, spending around 17 hours just getting here, but so worth it. Also keeping in mind, our plan is to travel through Swaziland, then Mozambique, so these one-nighters will be plenty still. <laughs> so it's like I said last night, fairly flat, sandy, no grass, but not a problem. It's Beautiful, spacious. Got your plug points, got a water point, a bright point. Uh, beautiful mountain views. So he's and hers. There you go. Cost is 180 rand per person per night camping. Yeah, just outside of Slushui. Game reserve and inside the game reserve. And it's 280 rand for two of us for the day. And leaving the reserve, we got greeted farewell in the most traditional way. around as we are off to Mkuzi Game Reserve next before heading into Iswatini aka Swaziland. Chaps, thanks for watching and hope to see you guys out camping very soon.